Hello everyone, welcome back to Lightning Wing Productions. I am Lightning Wing, and today we are, we are going to be doing part 4 of Let's Play Sonic Chrono Adventure. I am terribly sorry for taking so long. I was preoccupied with things, you know, our uh, real life and stuff. I, uh... I'll explain in a moment, but first, let's recap on what happened last time. Last time we witnessed an event in history... Wait, yeah, save. And we came back to find out that the island in the background there, a theme park, is finally open. So, let's head on out to that theme park, and on the way there, I'll explain why I was so late in making another video. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, so. At first, the reason why I didn't... Oh, big guy. Eggman's theme park is finally finished, but it's not open to the public yet. Unless you find another way in. Bzzz. Okay. And what is our... Wait, how do... Inventory. Okay. Yeah, let's give us some rings. Stop talking. Okay. At first, the reason why I wasn't releasing any videos is because I was get a little lazy at the, at the time. But then, there was a trip coming up where me, my mother, and her boyfriend basically went upstate to see a, a balloon festival. And we got to stay with my aunt. I was planning on making videos, like something interesting, like a little travel trip video. But nothing interesting worthy happened. <clears throat> Sorry. Excuse me. But yeah, I did record some video of the balloons going up. You know, hot air balloons. I don't know if I mentioned, mentioned that before. Okay, I swear, the. This. Did I just jump into Kingdom Hearts right now? Seriously? Because the music combined with the sunset reminds me of uh, Twilight Town. Neo! Damn it. <laughs> Hold on a second, I gotta do this. Neo ain't got nothing on me. <laughs> okay, moving on. Anyways, I finally got home from this vacation and of course I gotta do like chores and shit cause I don't have a jib. Finally, I got the chance to Make a video. Whoa. What the heck was that? Okay. Awesome. A electric bounce, I guess? Boom. What if that... I think that kills enemies. Whoa! Whoa, that was big. That's what she said. <laughs> Off red, off screen, respawn. Eh, whatever. I, I know I was gonna say more, but I forget now. I'm just trying to talk about what happened while I was gone and talk about the game all at once. I get it. The higher you, are, the higher, the fast, the higher you are, the more time you are in the air, or the higher, harder, whatever. Yeah, the harder you hit the ground, the, the harder that becomes. Oh shoot! Okay. One thing I like about this game is that there's not, there's hardly any bottomless pits. I mean, I know that's like a thing in video games, Mario, Sonic, but it's just so annoying. It just half the time it just seems like lazy game designing. Uh, what do we put there? I don't know. Let's just make it a bottomless pit. You two are dead. But yeah, 
yeah. I was on vacation. Basically. I'll... If I can get the... I actually got a new iPod, and I recorded some of the video with that. Actually, I recorded almost all of it with that. So... See if I can get the videos off of that and onto here, because I'm still figuring out how to use certain certain functions of it. This is more like a calm... This is like Carnival Night Zone, but more calm. Like, it, I swear, it's like a combination of Carnival Night Zone with a combination of Twilight Town from Kingdom Hearts. And these balloons, these aren't shocking, these are just making me bounce. Wait, I wonder, can I... Try something. I don't like wasting time here. Ah, that that looks like a ramp of balloons. Can I? Ask her it. Uh, not much to talk about my vacation. It was okay. Welcome to Eggman's Amazing Park. Okay, before we go any further, look at the, uh... <coughs> look at this... Just... What does the hat look like? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, welcome to, a, to Eggman's Amazing Park. I'm Eggmite. And you're our first customer. What is up with this guy at eggs? Okay. Because of that, I would like to meet you in person. I'll be waiting. Uh-huh. That was weird. Almost as much as his stash hair. <laughs> Since this is Eggman's park, I wonder if he knows who you are. Best be careful and avoid... Wait. Sonic, look at that feather over there. Hmm. Interesting. Sonic, keep this thing with you. I think it'll be useful later on. Alright, time to meet this Eggmite. Yeah, sorry. That was a little stuffed up. But yeah. Seriously, no matter what Eggman makes, he's always gotta put his face on it. And I just wanna point out that Eggmite looks like Eggman. Yet the actual sp oh screw you! You can go, s you can go suck a dick. Okay, I think it's funny how. Whoa, that's fast. Gotta go fast. I think it's funny how Eggmite looks like Eggman, but the actual sprite used is Robotnik. That was awesome. Seriously, the layout for this these levels is just fun. Spin my head right round, right round. Okay, enough of that. Oh, come on, come on, come on! Nope, nope. There was something up there. I know it. I got a feeling in my gut. You know, I'm going back down here. I said I'm going back down there. I said I'm going back down there. What part of that do you not understand? You are the game. I am the player. You, you listen to me. Damn it. Guess we have to explore later. Okay. You die. You die. You die. You die. You die. Everybody dies. Everybody dies! You die! You die! You die! Okay, a little bit 
the overload on the enemies. Um, okay. <gasps> oh, this is the best power-up. This is my favorite power-up in the game. The, well, none of these items really have names, but I like to call them the Jet Shoes. So? Hold on, I'm gonna sneeze. Ah, oh, false alarm. Okay. Hey! <coughs> Damn it. Hold X to charge. Hold up. Okay. Phew! I love these! Okay, so you can... These don't work with just up. You can hold any direction. Do a short charge. Longer charge. This is what it's for. I'm sorry, I'm not... I don't have much to say this episode, I guess. Uh, I kind of feel stupid for not planning to talk about anything. I should be commenting on the game. Like, how... I guess... Not much that... I don't really point out much. Like, okay... All these vines make the place look old, so Eggman took it over and made an amusement park. Is, is this whole amusement park shtick, uh, like a Sonic Colors reference? I swear, if there are, if there are wisps here... How would that even work? Wisps and time travel. Oh, you can suck a dick! Certainly, big, certainly got a big enough mouth. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, I'm gonna try something. Oh, yeah! I shot up like a rocket. Uh oh. These are just my favorite items. It's like a boost. It's like a, it's like having a double jump and a high jump. That's one thing that bugs me, the whole enemy hop thing that I just did, where you bounce off an enemy, that needs work. Definitely. Whoa. Oh, I almost forgot to mention about this. You can't spin dash with the upper shoot with the air jets. Yeah, that's I'm calling them air jets. You can't spin dash, you can't peel out. But you can do this. Oh. Hello! Welcome to my office. I'm glad to meet you. As you know, my name is Eggmite, and your name is Sonic the Hedgehog, correct? Since the doctor, since Doctor Eggman has vanished, I was programmed to take the lead, finish what, fin finish what he started, and sort out problems. And you just happen to be one. Prepare yourself, Hedgehog. Oh shit! Boss battle. Okay, this Eggmite is a simple boss, really. You just gotta... <sighs> Excuse me. You just gotta jump and slash, or use your bounce attack, or jump at him. When he's not... Oh, sh When he's not doing stuff like that. Careful not to get hit by electricity. The trick is to hit him when he's moving, because he's less he doesn't do any electric stuff while he's moving. 
Except for that move. You are an ass! Why didn't I hit him? Oh, that's a dick move. Thankfully, you get rings during this boss fight, so you don't have to worry too much. Just gotta be careful. Ah, I gave my haircut. <laughs> Power Park Zone Core. Well, glad we defeated that boss. Wow, it must be way up high to hear wind and that whistling noise again, and I need the jet shoes. Air jets. There we go. Just for the record, I'm not using a controller. I'm using a keyboard. I don't know if I ever mentioned that. Probably didn't. That was cool. Wait. Let's see what's up there. Nothing I can reach. Oh well. I just thought of something. About the Chaos Emeralds. We saw one in the present, so I'm going to assume that for the, st for the sake of making sense, I'm going to assume that all the Chaos Emeralds are in the present. Because how the fuck would a Chaos Emerald end up in the past? Cue the 06 footage! It's a lucky charm. Probably not gonna find 06 footage. Whatever. Come on! There we go! See, these. This power up the air jets. They're tricky, but they're fun once you know how to use them. Oh, that is a direct fuck you! How the fuck am I gonna. The same bumper sound from. Oh, maybe I gotta. Act... Maybe I gotta bump them all. Ah! That's a direct fuck you, and I swear that's the same bumper noise from Sonic Spinball. Play the footage!
wonder what that says. He seems to be unconscious. At least he won't remember. At least he won't know we're from the future. Hey, Sonic! Look at that portal over there. I love how it's in like a a stabilizer of sorts. Hmm. Huh. Sonic, show me that feather we got earlier. Aha! I knew it. Remember the portal in that old castle? I always found I always found odd why we could why we could get into that one, but not the others created by Egats. Egats feathers must stimulate the time rifts or something along those lines. So if we have one, we should be able to use these portals at any time we want. I think there is a portal at Wild Wave Zone North 2 that we weren't able to use before. Might want to try that out later. Regardless, you might want to carry or at least drag Drem into the portal. And we should get into and, and we should get in too. Who knows how this place is in the past? Ready when you are, Sonic. <sighs> Sorry. 